Federal lawmakers are once again tackling legislation aimed at compelling the sale or banning the TikTok in the United States due to national security concerns. In a significant political development, the US House has voted overwhelmingly 360 to 58 again to pass the bill which includes TikTok measure demonstrating bipartisan support for addressing the perceived risk associated with the popular video sharing app. This time they have opted for an unconventional approach integrating the TikTok crackdown on foreign aid packages. The strategic move can expedite the proposal's journey through the legislative process circumventing the hurdles faced by standalone bills that often get bogged down in the Senate deliberations. The House lawmakers, prominently the Republicans, have been long scrutinizing TikTok over allegations of its close ties to China, which raises concern about the security and privacy of Americans' data. Despite the previous attempts to ban the app, these efforts have been hampered by constitutional concerns regarding the potential infringement on free speech rights. So what does this exactly mean? What does the new bill now mean? Essentially, the legislation requires TikTok to either severe ties with its Beijing parent company by dance or face a national ban. This bill sets a timeline for 180 days for such divestment. It explicitly identifies TikTok and other platforms owned by ByteDance as foreign adversary controlled applications and establishes a mechanism for future designation by the President. The House swiftly passed the bill, spearheaded by Representatives Mike Gallagher and Raja Krishnamurti, before sending it to Senate for further consideration. However, Senate proceedings often need to be revised with potential roadblocks like prolonged debate and committee hearings. And so, to navigate these challenges, House lawmakers have opted to incorporate the TikTok legislation into a comprehensive foreign aid package aimed at supporting countries like Israel, Ukraine and Taiwan. The strategic move garners bipartisan support and can facilitate a quicker resolution. Meanwhile, ByteDance, the parent company, is now citing the questions on freedom of speech and has called out the Congress's move as an offence. Overall, this legislative maneuvering signals a renewed effort to address the national security risk posed by TikTok with lawmakers leveraging foreign aid packages to expedite the process.